Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and founder of Policy Pack Software. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to manage and lock down Firefox using Group Policy and Policy Pack. So to get started, let's go ahead and take a look at some options that users can manipulate to, uh, oops, mess up, <laughs> ruin your day, and become less secure for your whole company. But let's start off with something simple like the home page. You probably do want to set this centrally and also perhaps lock it down. I'm about to show you how to do that. Same thing with security. Let's talk about this for a second. Let's, uh, let's say any user decides they want to uncheck these three important security settings and click OK. What have they done? They've just made your world less secure. And you don't want to be in that situation. You want to make sure that the settings that you deployed are important to the business and therefore are guaranteed to the user. So let's see how to do that using Policy Pack and Group Policy. So I will create a GPO and link it to the domain here and I'll call this uh, uh, Manage Firefox using Group Policy and Policy Pack. There we go. And then I'll click Edit here and I'll dive down under Computer Side, Policy Pack applications and we'll go to new application and I'm about to go ahead and pick a uh, Firefox here which is at the very bottom but take a look at what else is on the list we've got flash and Java and Acrobat and office and actually we have over 50 pre-configured applications and they're all on our website for you to see videos and understand how they all work and when you're a policy pack customer you don't just get one pack you actually get all the packs including this one Firefox so we'll go ahead and click there and let's go ahead and manage Firefox and that first thing to notice it looks a lot like Firefox so no learning curve required if you want to set the home page go to www.policypack.com that's great but while we're here let's go the extra mile let's lock this down by right clicking and performing the lockdown setting right there if we go over to security and we want to ensure that these three check marks are checked we'll just quickly uncheck and recheck them and you can see underline means deliver what's in the checkbox so in this particular case I want to ensure that all three of these checkboxes in fact are checked while I'm here once again I will perform lockdown of this particular setting here we go I'll do that for each of these three guys and let's go over to uh, to tabs tabs may be something you want to suggest to a user uh, while they're in a session but you might want to let them work around it so for these three guys these first three check marks just for fun I'll check them but I won't perform any lockdown upon them and we'll see what happens when we do that that's it for now let's go ahead and click OK and let's go over to uh, our target machine here and I'm about to run GP update because I happen to be using group policy in this demonstration. So you could pretend that the user is logging on for the first time or changing job roles or getting a new computer or using a terminal services or VDI machine or Citrix machine or roaming. Anything that triggers group policy is going to make this magic happen. Now, that being said, you don't have to use group policy if you don't want to. We have an alternate way to deliver our settings, and you can do that using, say, SMS, or rather SCCM, uh, Altiris, uh, Landesk, Case, um, Windows Intune, or Lab Tech, anything you want. If you, can, uh, if you want to not use group policy, you don't have to. I just happen to be using it for this demonstration. Let me go ahead and close this out, and let's go ahead and now run Firefox and see what happens on our target machine. So there we go. We see the home page automatically set instantly just like that if I were to go to options here boom you can see the security settings are all locked down just the way we expect the check marks are checked if I go to general here we can see that the home page is in fact delivered and also locked down but remember tabs tabs we said that we wanted to enable the user to well get the check marks while they're in the session but let them work around it the thing about policy pack that's uh, extra special is that it's always working for you even when the user is offline so even if there's no connection back to domain controllers or you're uh, just completely offline policy pack is always working so if when you click back onto options here those check marks are rechecked because policy pack is again always working even when offline let's talk about something else there's a, a bunch of extra special settings involved in Firefox. You can see them by going to About Config here, and you get a little warning that asks you to be careful here. This is for the uh, you know highly intense uh, extra settings here. So Policy Pack does in fact support these. Uh, we have a handful of them that are that are in the pre-configured pack, but you're actually 
welcome to add your own if you want to. And you do that using our free policy pack design studio. So for instance, if there's some accessibility setting or alert or any of these settings that you want, it's actually really easy to go from here, this list, and add the one or two or three or four you want to uh, on uh, into your policy pack because again, the actual um, pack itself is editable using our own design studio tool. That being said, there are a couple that uh, come up kind of frequently, which are these guys. So automatic NTLM authentication trusted URIS, uh, network negotiate auth delegation URIS, and network negotiate dash auth dot trusted URIS. These, these come up a lot because they involve websites with regards to NTLM authentication. And uh, so we just put them in the pre-configured pack waiting for you. So the question is, can policy pack deliver these interesting about config settings? And the answer is yes. Let me show you how that works. Let me go ahead and close out Firefox here. Let's go back and re-edit our group policy here for Firefox, and we'll go to the About Config tab. Now, like I said, at the time of this recording, we only have three of them in here, but it only took me like two minutes to put these in. Like I said, if you want to add your own additional About Config settings, you're welcome to do that anytime because we give you the tools to do that, to open up this particular pack and add in your own settings if that's what you want to. So just for example here, I'll just do www.a.com, uh, comma www.b.com and over here I'll do www.c.com and here I'll do www.d.com comma www.e.com just an example just to prove a point here so I'm clicking OK locking and loading it into the group policy uh, object I'll go ahead and go back to my client machine I'll run GP update get the latest greatest settings again you don't have to use group policy if you don't want to if you want to use your own systems management utility to get these settings deployed you're more than welcome to do that all right now that that's done let's uh, actually let me close this out first why not well then go ahead and run Firefox again and let's go to our special about config and we'll be careful, I promise. <laughs> and under filter, we'll go back to the filter here, and there we go. So we instantly delivered these special about config settings to ensure that these things are configured the way you want to. So Policy Pack is a true settings management system. We don't just manage Firefox, we can manage tons of your important key applications. If you're looking for a trial for Policy Pack, it's super easy to do. Just go ahead, go over to policypack.com, click on the webinar download button that's on the right side, and after we see you in a webinar, we'll hand over the bits and you can try this all out for yourself. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.